We present to you the starters for Negros and Batangas. We have Janjan Pascas, June Manzo, Bernie Fregondo, Villalonga, and Jason Milano for the Muscovados. And then we have John Craig Villanueva, CJ Isid, John Abuluto, Levy Hernandez, and Mark Cruz for the Batangas City Embassy. They have to fight through the pain tonight. Well, that definitely is going to be the case for June Manzo because these are an important stretch of games as you to have a chance of getting into the Southern Division playoffs. In Kalohokan. CJ Isit, the pass inside to Mark Cruz, and there's Levy Hernandez who scores. Uh, they go to Levy Hernandez on to. Again, CJ Isit, that's a good defender ahead of him. Jason Milano pulls up and scores. As we've always mentioned, it's number nine now in scoring in the league. 14.7 per outing as CJ Isit breaks away. 5 to 2, four minutes gone by. That's a low scoring game. Mark Cruz turns around and drains that jumper. Here comes Batangas again. With Cholo asking CJ to push the pace. CJ Isid all the way for those two points. You have to remember CJ Isid is an MPBL champion after all. He was playing for the Sun One Knights. Five on the shot clock. He needs a teammate. Levy throws the ball up. It ends up with a Buluto. And John will score. Cano. Against Levy Hernandez. Nice pass on to Bernie Brigondo. City, how often will we be seeing John Baloria and Levy Hernandez at this stage as well? Jackson Pinan with five on the shot clock. Ambuluto, nice. What a move. Baseline, Jackson Pinan in trouble. Turnover, forward pass here. And this will be the easiest two points of the night for Ichi Altamirano. Andrea and Diso. The score reads 16 to 9 in favor of the home squad. About Batangas. Let's see if Negros can find other answers here in the second frame. As that was a nice pick and roll action between Jexter Pinan and Rudy Linganay. By being that scrappy forward and without an outside shot. There you go. Great creativity by Jexter Pinan on the was the first play. Linganay, good pocket pass to Jackson up and then these two guys have been playing together for John Baloria intercepting the pass and then the feed to Apinan look at that big and the finish he knew that Johnson was going to try it 8 minutes and 37 in the second Inglis with the bounce Nat Nat leans in and he scores excellent decision right there by James Inglis to go for ball recovered Inglis no advantage on the post. He escapes and he scores. That is a mismatch. But this advantage. Apinan on the other end. That's a basket. Help. Uh, offensively speaking. At this point, it's basically the responsibility to favor of Batangas. They're up by 11. Hernandez will catch, fire, and score. There are really some shooters. Of course, we have to mention the beautiful form up top and the spin of that basketball. It's been a long night offensively for June Manzo and company. There's the leaner for June, too strong. Ooh. Darwin Lenore and Bernie Bregondo had an exchange that warranted technical fouls. Two minutes and five. Apinan. Oh, Levy Hernandez. He check. Back to back to back. Three pointers for Sniper de Mexico. And those are all with. But I'm sure he continues to look at the bigger picture para sa kanyang kupunan. Remember last year when everybody thought that it was going to be them and Nueva. Off of the miss of Longa, there's the fast big opportunity. Two points for Levy Hernandez. Boy, five, ten years ago, Levy Hernandez was one of the most output in one half in the season. Two free throws for Mark. First one is good. He is, after all, a free throw shooting. Six out of nine, four out of eight. Two for two for Mark Malole, so no record will be broken tonight. Up top on the horns play. Oliva in trouble. Tough pass. Turnover. Kabila tayo. Arvin Johnson on the finish. 
I'm sure this is a player that they did not really uh, put into their scouting report. They just decided that he was coming fresh off the bench and they wanted to blitz him. And that led to the steal and the finish here by Arvin Johnson. Lenore with the basketball, four seconds to go. Oliva to Unil Arim to beat the buzzer. That is good. He to cap off a great first half for the Batangas in the Embassy Chill. And who would expect that it would be Onil Arim to hit that last second shot here in the second quarter para dito sa Batangas City. He's always been patient all season long for Batangas. Then just behind them are Quezon and Zamboanga. Those five squads are basically battling. Levi Hernandez will begin the second half with John Dre Villanueva as Levi fires and scores. And they also have John Aboluto, Mark Cruz, and... Uh... Finding his stroke from the outside, you want him to be in the best shape possible as you wind down the regular season, heading into the playoffs. You want him to have that confidence to be able to link, in fact, maybe the greatest missing link in this game so far for Negros. Jason Milano only has two points and his shooting is one out of nine from the field. Kabilaraman, there's another conversion from John Ray Villanueva. On the other end, Batangas continues to pound. John Ray will pull up and score again. Coach Solo, I'm sure, prepared for that. And now, it has been working so far. Nice pass. Mark Cruz finding John. Good looks inside. Saw that he was getting clamped down on defense whenever he attacks the paint. This time, tries to settle for the jumper. Breakaway here. That's a second easy layup for Ichi Altamirano. Of those dribble penetrations. John Ray Villanueva continues to punish Negros, this time from the corner. Muscovado's defense. You know, it's one thing to say that your offense has not been working. But that time it did, para kay Jason Milano. But you obviously have to do your work defensively. The lead is 22. JC, feet inside. Mark Cruz is rejected. What a block by Bernie Bregondo. By trouble here. That was a tough spot for John Ray, but he was still able to deliver with the ball to JC. Spin move! And a two-pointer for JC Asun John. Yep. Almost the end of the shot block. And then you have a guy like JC Asun John bust out that move and get the basket but good thing Jun Manza was able to answer with a three off of the baseline inbound here's Jexter Apinan on the driving kick Rafi Octubre will fire that is good it's just too simple for Batanga City Balik Batanga 61 to 40 Jexter Apinan escapes Apinan all the way for two you see how easy and then the help tries to rotate and they, they, they just kick out because na iwan na yung top side defense. Three pointer coming in from James Inglis. They've been making some threes here in the third frame, but obviously Rafi, the kick out, only La Rim. There's a bump, no foul. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's another buzzer beater for only La Rim. With a shot, this time an even more difficult one. There was contact there and he had to just put it up after being bumped by James Inglis. It looks like it's going to count. Yeah, it was early at least. In this matchup, the score reads 65-43 to in favor of Batanga City. Jexter up top, Rudy swings right. Only let him. The pull up is good. And there's a takedown. Happened. Not even in a game. He sprained his ankle in one of their practices. Yeah, that's very heartbreaking, especially for a team that really relies so much as Andrea mentioned. The lead is 18. Apinan. Tulinganay. Dumala si Jong. Got the ball again. Then on the shot clock, there's the roller. Jexter, Pinan on the reverse. Good defense until the very last moment. What a nifty from his players right now because they don't want to fall flat when it comes to the postseason where we've already mentioned repeatedly, actually just not in this game, but throughout the season. season. 
especially their games against Quezon and Jensen. That might just be battle for home court advantage in the south. As Junmanzo scores, we just converted from the corner. Ooh, Octobre and Milano going at it. Nuh uh, that's not good. And that got Rudy Distrito up on his feet quickly. We're gonna lock arms. I think two lock. Tuloy tuloy. It's a double foul between number go. 11, Rafael Flores, and number 18, Jason Milano. That's a fourth foul. That's a tech double warning. We double on spawn, ba? Parang wala pa naman. Today, parang wala pa. Boloria. Again, a lot of physicality against them. De La Cruz this time, and he scores. Yeah, they even have Rob, had Robin Ronyo. Oh, nga. Those were... Those two, Paula Avalona and Robin Ronya, were their one-two punch at the start of the season. Phil Longa hitting a three-pointer has been one thing that has been missing from Negros in today's game. Could have been a big difference maker para sa kanila. JC Asuncion also contributing to what has already been a very dominant showing. Continuing the fight here. O'Neal Arim, the feet inside to John Boluto, and that should do it. 83-60, to Pia Longa, nope, Bernie, put back. Our player of the game is Levy Hernandez, 17 points, he really started it all para sa Batanga City. Second quarter, that was when he heated up and he continued to do so. Didn't really take much time for him on the floor to get this total. Well, John Henry Villanueva tried to make a statement of his own. So did O'Neill Arem, but obviously, Levy had such a big cushion already. He is our player of the game, brought to you by OKBet, OK the official partner of the MBBL. And OKBet, okay together we win.